So, Richard, here we are in Hyde Park. I know. And uh, wh what are you doing here? Well, I'm getting ready for the march in a few weeks' time. Uh, it's hopefully going to be very exciting. One of the first times, of course, since lockdown that we've been able to get everyone together to talk about what we all know is the important thing to say. Britain's future is with Europe. And, so, uh, so rejoin the EU, but, you know, is it a hopeless cause? Absolutely not. Uh, I think that there's three distinct routes back to the yeah. EU. And uh, I think ultimately we're going to... Uh, we already see polling showing a majority of people favouring uh, returning to the EU now. OK, it's not a strong majority, but it's a consistent, clear 55% now in favour of us uh, going back to the EU. We need to find a route to go back. Now, there's a quick route, there's a long route, and there's one in the middle. Uh, I think today is all, the next few weeks is all about a march to say we want one of those routes and we need to get our rights back. OK, and so why should people come? Why should people come? Because it's important to demonstrate that people still care about this issue. Not only do people care about this issue, it's not just remembering an injustice of the past, it's talking about our future. We are in a period of incredible flux at the moment. We know that there are problems with the economy, we know that there's an international energy crisis. Never was the time better for us to actually be uniting with our friends in Europe to try and solve some of these problems rather than building artificial walls around ourselves. And I think many people are growing to realise that and we need to show that there is a critical mass for that. And also, of course, we need to give our opposition parties backbone. If they don't think anyone's interested, then of course they're going to go with make Brexit work or whatever other daft, impossible slogan they come out with. OK, and what would you say to somebody who says, um, well, I can see that Brexit is not going that well, um, but I did vote for it to start with. Would you, you know, am I kind of not welcome on the march? Well, that's not true. I mean, there's many, many people who voted Brexit at the time who have said later on that they didn't truly understand what they were voting for. And even those who thought they knew what they were voting for have got something completely different delivered. And let's remind ourselves of some of the promises. We were told things by vote leave such as no one's talking about leaving the single market, no one's talking about leaving the customs union, and yet this is what we've got and this is at the heart of our economic problems. So I'm sorry to say I think a lot of the people who did vote for Brexit back in 2016 were copped. And I think they're realising that they were conned, and I'm very sorry that they were conned, and uh, it, I think those people deserve a voice more than anyone else to say, well, we were fed false information, we demand a chance to act on the truth. Yeah, and it's very easy to judge what happened then in the light of what we know now, isn't it? Whereas Absolutely. in 2016, it was very different. Okay, so, so we're not here to redo 2016. No. We're here in the 2020s. Would you, would you say that's Absolutely. fair? Absolutely. To... We're here in the 2020s with evidence now, good, hard evidence that shows what the impact of leaving the European Union is. And let's remind ourselves, we've not even fully left yet. We still have transitional arrangements at our ports in Dover, which are likely to go on indefinitely. As I speak now, we still have a Northern Ireland protocol, which is looking likely to possibly disintegrate at any second, which again is at one of these sort of strings on which the even partial Brexit we've currently got is now resting. I think people are becoming aware of this and people are becoming increasingly nervous about this. So what you'd say is if you're interested in the UK rejoining the EU, come on the march from Hyde Park. Absolutely. Yeah. Come and, along on the march, join and, us. You know, and all the details will be on the screen. They will. Yeah. And what if you're not certain? What if you're not certain? Well, come along. Don't join us on the march, stand by the side, take a couple of us aside and ask us to talk to you about the issue. So we'd be more than welcome to because we're on the march because we want to communicate. If you're not sure about your view on the EU, come along anyway and talk to some of us. What a good idea. <laughs> Richard Hewson, thank you very thank much. You,